Yeah. I just set it off 83, the biggest three, and I just hopped off the porch. You know what's going on. I jumped off the porch at a young age. I couldn't really fight, but I was really brave. All right, so we got set it off 83 off the porch with us today. Yeah, you already know what's going on, man. Big three, the one and only. Yes, sir. Man. How you feeling today, bro? I'm all right, man. Living, I can't complain. Okay. All right, so what else are you uh, working on here in Atlanta during this trip, bro? A lot of work, man. A lot of business. You know, I just dropped my tape. The old me is out on all platforms now. Yep. So I'm just doing a lot of promo walkthroughs. We're selling all walkthroughs, all bookings, you know. Just keep working. Keep staying on the grind. Yeah, so. I feel that. All right, man. So talk to us about Durham, North Carolina, man. What's life like out there? Shit. It's ugly. I ain't gonna lie. That's why, I, like, I be working so hard because Durham is like, I don't know. It's it's the ugliest of ugliest, but at the same time, it's what you make it, you know? Like, if you keep your head stuck in one mindset, you're going to be stuck in that forever. You got to get yourself out of that slump. You got to think bigger, you know. That's how I've been able to keep progressing and not stop because I think bigger. Yeah, you got to, man. Got to. But yeah, man, Darren just like, you know, it's like any other city. You know, I ain't going to go too deep in that, but it's like any other city. You got your haters, you got your motivators, you got, you know, inspirations, you know, before, before, like, you know, you know how it go. So yeah. What was your childhood like? What were you into before the music? It was ugly. I ain't gonna lie. It was ugly. Let let my teacher tell it. I wasn't even making this far. <laughs> I was in and out of juvenile shit like that. Like whole lot of trouble. Whole lot of trouble, man. You know how that go. At what age would you say you jumped off the porch? At a very early age. Yeah, I remember, I was like, what, 12, 13? This is my big brother Cash, man. Okay. You know, this is my brother Cash. He been with me since the beginning, you know. Just coming home, solid. We're gonna keep this, keep that thing on the road. His yeah. project coming soon. So okay. We're working hard. Yeah. Yeah, you got a quote on one of the songs. I forget which one it was. You said, I couldn't fight, but I was very brave. Girl, we use... <laughs> I could really fight, but I was really brave. <laughs> no cap. How important was that growing up in Durham, man, to be brave, at least be able to stick up for yourself? Um, I'm going to say it like this. Like, when you're in the streets, it ain't too many people fight. You get what I'm saying? So you got a result into that, yeah. You get what I'm saying? And you protect yourself at all times. You see me, they know me, I'll bro, oh, he ain't even gonna waste no time trying to fight with you. He gonna get straight to the point. Cause that's what is gonna happen anyway. Like, if I beat you up, you gonna be mad. You gonna wanna uppose on me. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be the same way other way around. <laughs> you beat me up. Ain't no way we, I would just drop it. You know what I'm saying? The old me though, this is me before I'm doing what I do now. Yeah. Like, this the old me. What would you say has been one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn so far? They with you when you up. They ain't gonna be around when you down. They not, it don't matter, like, who it is, it be the ones, it be the ones you love most, that you would think that's, you know, like this, like that. They leave too. What do you feel like is the biggest obstacle you had to overcome in your life so far? The biggest obstacle? Uh. I say my biggest obstacle was just making it out. 
that was the biggest, like, since I was young, I always said I wanted to do something. I don't know what it was, though. Like, if it was music. I was like 11, 12 years old. I knew I didn't want to play basketball. I ain't played basketball since I was like middle school. So, like, I knew basketball wasn't gonna be it. So I just canceled it. And I started getting in trouble. I started getting in trouble and like going to juvenile, I got sent out of the road, came home. They tried to hit me, they tried to hit me with murder in 2016. You know, no evidence. I was set. Let me go home free, you know. Stay silent, never tell. You're gonna come home. Then I was, I was 16, you know. So it just like make me think bigger. I feel like I'm a, I'm a hit of the youngest my age. You get what I'm saying? And it been like that though. Yeah. And not just physical. I'm talking about like mentally. Like you gotta know how to survive. I've been on my own since I was like 15. My mom been, like, my mom was in prison. Went to prison when I was 12. You know what I'm saying? She just got out like a year and a half ago. Oh yeah. Yeah. She how got proud out 2019. is she? Very how proud, proud is she right she, now? Hey, she really, she really didn't know I was serious when I was telling her like I do music. <laughs> For real, she thought. And, yeah, and my grandma didn't real. either. My grandma thought I was like it was just like you know somebody said they doing music like man you local da da da. <laughs> so grandma like man that ain't bringing no money in. Go get you a job. I'm like man I ain't get no job. I ain't never had no job. You know. So I start thinking, like, you know, I do my little thing, but once I, once I locked in all the way, took the music series, it took me like, I came home, I came home from, from training school in like 2017. I did like a year, came home in 2017. I told people in 2017, I'm like, I'm gonna come home, give me a year. I said, give me a year. I literally like, Caught five, like six months after I came home. <laughs> just like I, you planned it. Just like I planned it. A deal on the table, like six months after that. So it was like, you know, it was God, because I prayed, you know. I prayed. It just shows, like, He a forgiving man, you know, forgiving God. Like, and I'm big on that. Pray. Not when, not when it's getting good all the time. Mm -hmm. I want it just bad. We all pray when it's good too. For sure, for sure. Amen to that, man. Um, so, who were some of your musical influences that kind of inspired you to want to start at it? I ain't gonna lie, shit. I grew up, I grew up thinking like, I was listening to Chief Keith, like Dirt G Herbo. I was a big G Herbo fan, I ain't gonna cap. Like, but I was saying like, you know, a lot of people around my age doing it. So it was like, shit, I know I can get in there and snap. Cause I used to just, off the, you know, a little freestyle on the block. Nigga feel like, man, you need to take it serious. And my brother, my cameraman, he with me. Like, he shot my first video ever. Oh yeah. First video ever. I got my first, my first million views with him. Mikey T, my brother, man, he in here with me. But yeah, this shit just motivation, man, for all the young people that's doing this, keep going. Don't stop, you know? It don't matter what they say, it don't matter what case you catch, it don't matter what it, it don't, it don't matter, you know? The bag is out here. You definitely can go secure. 2021, you should have you at least one or two ways of hustle, multiple ways of hustle. And that pandemic, it it's either gonna it either helped you or it hindered you. You know. What was that first song that you had that kind of gave you a buzz out there? Uh, whoa, I gotta say it was whoa. What you think? What you think, gang? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, it was whoa. It was definitely whoa. And then I called Fire with No Cap. No Cap got me the deal. I no ain't gonna cap lie. Was huge, man. No Cap was huge. I ain't gonna lie. No Cap got me the deal. But Woe got me like at the door where it was like I, I started performing, getting little $500 shows, stuff like that. Like, you know, 
just just networking. I started taking this. I I was getting a little glimpse, a little a little stuff. So I'm like, man, I know I can go up. I meet Rich. You know what I'm saying? I meet Rich the kid. I send him a track. He hop on the song. This was like before anything though. Like I send him a track. He hop on the song. Send it back like next day. I drop it on my tape. Like, oh shit, you for a rich kid, I get rich on the song. Yeah. <laughs> I took my, I had my bros with me, Bobby T and little Tony, so I take them over, we go over there, start fucking with them, you know. We catch a deal off no cap, and we lit. Certain things happen, you know, certain things, certain spot, we ain't gonna get too deep in that, but. Shit, we survived a drought, you know? <laughs> hey, like, we ain't tripping on nothing. Yeah, how long ago did uh, 83 Babies form? Like 20, 2018. Okay. It was like 2018. Because it really won't even like no group for real. It was just like, we all from the same city. Like, then the bros, they were from one side out from another. But we all, we all were the bros, you know what I'm saying? We just start making music, doing shows together. We catch fire. So when I show, when I show Rich, like, like, boy, yeah, I got the bros. Like, he like, man, that shit can be big, you know what I'm saying? That shit can be big. So it was like, shit, why not? I'm not taking them with you. You know what I'm saying? What you supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Did you expect no cap to go up like it did? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't. It was like everywhere I was going, I was getting like, like people were knowing. Like I couldn't <laughs> even walk. I was, I was in LA. This is like around the time I first started going to LA. So I, I, I remember putting up Chick fil A. I was putting up Chick fil A, right? And the drive through was so packed. I'm like, fuck it, I'ma hop out. <laughs> like, fuck it, I'ma hop out, we your feet, you know? I ain't tripping. We had up, I ain't, I ain't tripping. Nigga stopped in traffic. Like, oh, you set it off. <laughs> and hopped out the car. So we thinking like, you know, it's finna go up. But he like, nah, bro. Like, I'm a big fan. Like, and then I knew from there, like, yo, this shit, this shit finna be lit. <laughs> I'm in LA, one of the biggest cities in America, and they know who I am. What? It's only up from here. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was a huge record, man. Definitely. So, do you guys still rap together, or is everyone just went solo? Yeah, we still, we still, we still do our little things. You know, L. Matter of fact, YBT working on the solo project right now. It dropped on his birthday, June 1st. Okay. Trying to win. Got to make sure y'all go get that. All right, that's my brother. We, you know, we locked all the way in forever. For sure. I got you. What's the music scene like in Durham? Um, right now, there's people cooking for real. But you got a couple people like, like doing something. I feel like, you know, a lot of people, like, I don't get my credit, but I don't be tripping on shit like that. Like, but it's like shit, a lot of niggas be knowing, like, where they can, where they get the sauce from, but try to take it the opposite way. You get what I'm saying? But me being me, I don't even, you know, we really thug it for real, we ain't even tripping about that. But, but when you speak on Dern, I'm in that conversation. Speak on North Carolina, I'm in that conversation for sure. Yeah. Got to be, man. <laughs> Definitely. So what do you feel like was the biggest lesson you learned through the the whole situation with uh your deal with Rich and uh was it Interscope you guys were at? No, nah, it was Atlantic. Atlantic, okay. Uh it was just like a like really like a lesson learned. I'ma say I'm gonna say like it was a lesson and a blessing at the same time. Because yeah, all right, we walk away from Atlantic. But we walk away with money. And like, you know, 
it could have, I got something crazy for one song. So it was like, shit, I get to keep my publishing and walk away with a big check. Why not? A week later, it was other labels calling. Oh, yeah. So it was free like, agent. I'm a free agent. Oh, I'm like, what, what? You got what I'm saying? But the lesson part was more like, all right, I seen where that can go. You get what I'm saying? And it was big on it. So I'm obviously worth some. I just felt like shit. I can take the independent route, get a little bigger to where when they come at me like, when they want to come at me again, I want five times more. Because like shit, I'm working my ass off. I'm putting my, my bread into this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That shit won't give me. I had to work for it. I got, I caught cases behind it, you know. I'm good today, you know. But it's like, damn, I just let mine. Yeah. We all trying to eat, we all trying to win. I feel that, yeah, it's all about leverage when it comes to the labels, huh? Yeah. If you can get it on your terms, then you won. You won, and so, my eyes, I won. Yeah. You know, outsiders looking in, and see, this is the first time I really spoke upon that. So people don't really know the situation. But like, outsiders looking in, they'll think like, oh, they just flopped or they dropped or something. You get what I'm saying? You know how people do, they be hating. They hate so bad and they don't make no sense. Like now I'm, I'm from the projects like you, if you from the projects. Like, that's what I represent. I represent the struggle. I represent, it's like me, peasy head, tattoos all over them. Like, before the fame, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, all that other shit, that shit is irrelevant. We trying to secure the bag, for sure. Still cool with Rich? Yeah, for sure. He just called me like two days ago. Yeah. You know, like, I, it's, it's like, I just keep myself like a bunch of twists. Like I be doly. I be with my family, you know, I got a daughter now. So it's like, I be taking care of her. I be trying to make things shake to her. Like when she my age, she good. Mm -hmm. She ain't gotta work, she ain't gotta do none of that. You know? So it's like, we go where we go. Yeah. Definitely. What has being a father taught you about life? It's too short to be out here playing. Like, you know, I'm 20 years old. I'm 20 years old, I'll be 21 in September. That's four months away. My daughter won, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't got no time to be playing out here. I caught strike at 18. I'm trying to be the biggest of the biggest. Like, I done seen so many, like, rap dudes, rap niggas, they, they still in the swag, still in the flow. And it's like, I know they be watching because I see it. Like, it's Instagram. Instagram show you when somebody watching you. It's like, it show you. And I don't know if y'all really plugged in, but like, I see everything behind the Instagram. Like, I can see that. So it's like, I've been seeing people running out with the sauce so long. I ain't even tripping on it. <laughs> <laughs> comes with the game. It comes with the game. And, I, and when I came in, I ain't believe it. Like, <laughs> man, these niggas too hard to be trying to steal swag. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the real always come out on top. Yeah. For sure. Uh, we know you're cool with uh, Sauce Pack, man, our boy. What yeah, can you tell us about Sauce Pack and your relationship with him? <sighs> shit, damn, that shit so fucked up, bro. It's just like, that was my, like, that was my younger bro for real. Like, behind the cameras, like, we had, like, we had link up, no pictures, no, studio time, no nothing. We chilling, vibing, you get what I'm saying? Like, that was little bro for her. And like, before he even had really came all the way in with this in the scene, like, I was telling him like, boy, you gonna be hard. Like, like you gonna be hard. So when I finally got him, got up with him, he like, damn, bro, you real, bro, you kept your word. Like, like, you told me you was gonna get up with me. I got, when I locked in with him, I locked in with him. I sent him like two songs. Tell him, every time I'm around his way, I tell him to pull up on me. You know what I'm saying? Or he around my way, he pull up on me, come to the crib. He 
he had a crib chilling, eating Rice Krispie treats, shit like that, you know? <laughs> Like, that was the younger bro. So it's like when I heard that, it, it, it broke my heart, you know what I'm saying? And me, like me, I be on drugs. And it's like, I, I gotta think hard, cause it's like, this shit ain't worth it. You know, this shit ain't worth it. This shit ain't worth it. And addiction is real, you know what I'm saying? So if you feel like you, you, you in troubles or your mental health is being affected by a drug addiction, you, you gotta seek help. Cause it's real, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm a little sauce pack. I got I still got unreleased songs I ain't even dropped yet. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And it's crazy cause we had so much plan. We were supposed to shot the video, all type of shit. That shit crazy. Yeah, bro has so much energy, man. He was on go. He was lit everywhere he went, man. Everywhere he went. Life of the party, man. Life of the party for so. <laughs> no cap. Pink pussy pimping. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> real, bro. That was love, bro, for so. Yeah. All right, so the old me, man. Uh, first, you were gonna call this cause hell too, right? Yeah, I was going. I ain't gonna lie. I was going. I still, I still got cause hell too. I okay. can really drop it. So it's it. a different project. Yeah, or? it's a whole different project. Okay. I, I really can drop that. Like, I'm, I'm really on some shit where it's like I'm gonna drop every month. I'm on some. I'm on different time. Like 2021, I'm going all the way in, nonstop, back to back. So that's what we on. Yeah. So why did you have to give them the old me, man? Why, why did you have to go back to that? Is that what they wanted? Is that what you wanted to give them? That's what they wanted. And at the same time, that's what I needed. Because it was like, like, like my brother said, bro, you got to lock in, take the jury off, take all the jury off, put the jury up, black tea, nigga. And you know, all black, you know how we do? Lock in. <laughs> that man <been> crazy. <laughs> You know, that's what I did for real. Like, I won't, I ain't playing. So it's like the old set, it was, I ain't gonna lie, like, I ain't gonna say I was slouching or nothing like that, but I could feel myself feeding into the life. And I had to get back in reality, like, you know, like, this shit bigger. I got bigger goals. Like, I got bigger plans, you know? For sure. I see fans are going crazy over this big three part two, man. Did you expect that one to go up and for the fans to fuck? I think you had to have. Just even call it big three. I ain't you had to know. All right, I got some. You ever shit heard here. part? You ever heard part one? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know why it was lit. <laughs> she did an M off off her. So it was like I had to give him part two. I dropped point. I, I dropped one point five. And 1.5 was hard too, <laughs> but I just know part two is gonna be dumb. Like, and that's really like one of the top songs on there. Oh yeah. Definitely. What's up with the video? I'm, I'm actually shooting it. I've okay. been shooting it. I've been shooting it this week. I'm shooting some more today. You know, I got a lot of shit in store. I got a lot of shit in store. I'll fuck around and drop that bitch tomorrow. For real, for real. Fans going to eat it up, bro. You know they're ready for it. Definitely. I'm going to give it to them. What other videos do you plan to drop? I know you got the intro already out. Yeah, I got the intro out. So I got, I got like, what I got planned is I got like three tracks for sure. I want to shoot a video for and that, And that's, I got the GG Bandits featuring my brother Cash. I don't know what album is going on. But they ain't put it, they ain't put his name on there. They gotta fix that. Apple Music, if you're watching, <laughs> y'all gotta fix that. I got he needs cash his credit, on man. Yeah, give my, give my brother his credit. He's snapping. <laughs> GG Bandits, man. Go get that. The old me out now, everywhere. But yeah, so that's definitely a track I'm shooting. Um, I got the sun with shine. I got the with the sample of uh, Snowfall. Oh really? Ooh, I want to say, what's that, track number eight? That's eight. <sighs> the sun will shine. That been so hard. It brought me back. It took me way back. So I had to get, I had to give them tight vibes. Yeah. So that's another video I'm going to shoot. 
Man, um, I don't know if a lot of people know, but I did, um, I remixed that, who, who You Smoke, Who I Smoke. Oh, you did? Yeah. Mm. I don't even know why I tweak out on them boys' beat like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I tweaked out on that. I tweaked out on that, but that bitch three hard. I ain't gonna lie. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Who were some of the producers you worked with on this project? Um, I got I got DJ Killer, DJ Killer. That's my youngin out of uh, New York. You know he he did he did part one, so it was only right for I let him do part two. Okay. You know uh, no he didn't do part two. He did uh, uh what did he do three high? He did he did three high and uh I mean he got like two three beats on there, but yeah DJ Killer I got um. Joker, Joker up next. Um, I got, I got my boy Loy on there. I got a lot of, I got a lot of youngins that want to eat. That's hungry. You get what I'm saying? Because you know it's like, it's like, I could do. I got beats from all type of people. I got beats, 808 beats. I got Jetson beats. I got all type of beats. You know, like I got DJ Durrell beats. I, I just be, I would like working with them underground, them youngest coming up, cause I know they hungry. Like me, when I first came in, I was hungry, you know? Mm -hmm. So they gonna lock in. They gonna lock in for sure. You know, like you got them producers where it's like, like rappers, they established, you know, they a little slouchy, they ain't, you know? And I understand, they might send you a pack, you might like one or two songs on it one or two beats on it. But you got this young nigga that's coming up, you like five, six of his beats. Like, yeah, boy, I'm rocking with you. Like, I wanna see you win. Like, what you want for it, you know? Mm -hmm. I'ma pay you, you know? Like, killer, like, that's my young and like, I got, I got it set up where like, when I drop a song, like, and I'm on his beat, I give him a piece of it. Like, and he gonna eat off of it, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I, I so love, so for so. Sure. Also got big three records, man. Yeah. You looking to put on some other artists or what, what's your goals for this? Uh, right now, like I can say like, it's just me, it's me and my brother, Cash. I, I just, I'm looking for, I'm looking for new artists to, that want to work. You get what I'm saying? Like, they gotta be ready to work though. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing that plan. We working. We working over here. We working hard. We gotta feed our family. That's all it's about. Fuck all that Instagram shit. Trying to go viral. That's cool. But you know, you get it your way. But we trying to secure the bag and feed our families. I'm a grown ass man. I ain't got no time to be playing. Mm -hmm. I got bullet holes in me. All type of shit. I ain't. I can't be playing. So I know what it's. I know what it's like to be at the bottom of the bottoms and had a high of the highs. So it's like, when you can level that out and know like, all right, I got this, but I can still go back over here and know what it feel like to be like, nah, I don't want to go back to that, you know? Like, go back and show love. That's what you do, but get up out of there. Don't stay up in there and get caught up. This shit real for sure. Yeah, that's real. What else you working on? What else is coming up for you, bro? Um, right now I got uh, uh I won't even gonna say shit, but I'm gonna drop the deluxe. I'm gonna drop the deluxe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna deluxe. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have one or two features on there. Some big um, names or what? Uh, yeah, some big names. I got Rennie Rucci on one of. Uh, I fought with Rennie Rucci. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. She's hard. Yeah. She's snapping. Like, she, she really one of the hardest in it for sure. To me, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, I got no cap on that bitch, too. Free no cap. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of, you know, he's, he's solid, too. But I don't really follow no rap niggas like that. But yeah. Part of my brother YBT, that's it. Yeah, I'm going to give him another look. And we're gonna we're gonna keep going up for now. Yeah. Any last words? Any shout outs? 
uh, I want to say like shit. Shout out all the real niggas that's, that's really fucking with it, you know, like. They pay, they pay the stream, you know, they pay for them albums, they pay for them tickets to come see me. Like, shout out to them, cause y'all could be putting that money towards something else, feeding y'all family. You know, like, and you come help me feed mine. That's why I get it, go so hard. You know, so shout out to them. Shout out to all, I wanna say shout out to all them, the real, the real mamas out there taking care of their kids. You know, like, and shout out to all them demons that's in the can. I ain't gonna say too many names, but free walk, man, free drip, <laughs> free calico, man, free them, free them guys. You know, the biggest threes, the self and self. I jumped off the porch at a young age. I couldn't really fight, but I was really brave. I'll shoot you in your face for.